Okay, this one I'm gonna do only with a balloon. And um, here I have a balloon that I used a couple of weeks ago. Oops, sorry about the noise. But someone asked me, what if you dr let it dry, dry up on the balloon? So this one is dry. So I'm gonna, there it goes, burst the balloon. As you can see, this is the balloon on the inside. But uh-oh, that is nothing. We can't do anything with that. Or is this the whole thingy-majingy? I think so, but see, you, you can't do anything with that. It is all, you know, the size of, uh, of the uh, balloon. That is really funny, though. This is really balloon. Oh, here it comes. You can't do anything with this. This would really drive you crazy if you wanted to get that flat on a piece of paper. And I'm not sure. Yeah, that is balloon. So there, you, you can't do anything with that. We'll just throw that away. But you can do it with this. So um, I'm going to make a couple of these bigger ones. I'm going to put this color in. These are going to be uh, more smushed together. And we're going to give it a drop of that. Oh no, I can't use this. There's no uh, silicone in that one. There is in this one. Okay, let's see what we get with this. So there's not much paint on the uh, on the paper, but we're gonna smush it. But do I like it? Yes, I do. Do I like that? Even better. <laughs> That is really pretty. Let's see if we can fill that up. Wow. I'll give you a close up in a bit, but this is really pretty. But the thing is that I really need to fill it because otherwise I can do nothing with it. Most of it is off here. It's looking messy, but just wait for it, guys. You see, when you do it with the uh, <clears throat> the paper on top, then you get one sort of motion, but now you get all these zigzaggy motions all through it. So let me put that away for a bit. I do want to torch this this middle bit. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty. That is pretty. That'll work. I'll show it to you close up. See all the uh, all the little cells in there. So that is okay. <clears throat> Only you're not getting the real colors. This is much more turquoise than it is here I, in the monitor. I see it a little bit greenish, but it's more bluish. And that is awesome what happened there. But I am going to fill it up just a little bit. That almost went wrong. A little turquoise, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. And I'm going to press the balloon in there. that just to fill up the paper and then of course we have a choice in where we're gonna cut out the uh, the part so I'm gonna give it a little torch 
to make it fit and we'll just leave it like this and we could even uh, put some string gel over it later if we wanted to just some black to make the colors pop there it is I think that would work really nicely yeah I, I even like that bit because of the colors and the patterns I like it okay guys that was another short one but I uh, I'm I'm really liking this although I'm thinking of something else that I want to press in the paint and I'm not sure what you have a balloon maybe you guys can come up with something I can press in the paint but it has to be something totally different than a balloon or a piece of paper maybe if I just went over it like that with the paint but yeah let's do that I'll be back in a second love you all to pieces